Randy ain't my number one. Have you had much luck at the casino? In always all inches, I wasn't even going to play it at all, but then again I'm not an extender. I don't have any luck at all in or our rhythm really, except for being all in the right place at the right time. The house, not the casino. I mean the house and the casino always wins. But there is no few slip-ups. Always and I try to play it real quiet in the background. You may not for two. I have been to every game and venue you can think of. The only thing these places have in common is that they have to have electricity. The food is cheap and overpriced. The waitresses are all really cute girls dressed in nothing but two socks and roller skates. The entertainment is substandard. You can't drink any liquor. They will overcharge you to get your picture taken. And most of the time you have to wear shorts so that you can fit in the place. The one thing this place does do, though, is give AI an extensive shoot the best chance to get laid. If a girl can take the chance of running into a guy who has a lot of money and is out to get someone to spend it, how are they going to survive in a world where the guys don't have money? I was there just a few days before Thanksgiving. While there were many people here who were dressed more modestly, or were dressed in the most conservative manner possible in short pants, there were also those, like me, who were dressed with get laid. If you don't wear business clothes, they don't want to talk to you. If you wear business clothes, they will say anything to you. I had a woman approach me in the casino and I was at a poker table, which has a largish window where people can look in and see what is going on. The table was mostly people playing for fun. She said, Hey, I'm really excited to play poker tonight. I'm really bad at cards, but I can really watch what you do. This is when I turned around so that she could have a look at me. By this point, the other players could have been watching. What they saw, however, was someone who was dressed to get laid. No shorts, not much of a shirt, no tie. I mean, I didn't have a tie on because it was kind of freezing out and I figured I might need to make myself a sandwich or something, but you know what, if you came into my place of business and saw me with no tie on, I doubt anyone would have anything nice to say about me. So the reason I was dressed somewhat conservatively is because it is not only me, but also a good portion of those who dress that way. If you see anyone walking into the casino and dressed in shorts, a t-shirt and flip-flop, you better take a good look at their ass. My point is not that you don't have to dress conservatively if you want to get laid. My point is that if you want to get laid, you better dress conservatively. Or else you are going to get rejected. A man walking around the casino is not unusual. So is a man wearing a suit and tie, or even a t-shirt and jeans. The fact that he was dressed to get laid tells you very little. My suggestion would be to not go to the casino to get laid, and if you are, wear more clothing than you would be comfortable wearing in your living room. This also applies to the pool area and to the sports bar. I would think a woman wearing a bikini and walking through a casino would draw less attention than a guy wearing a suit and t-shirt. Why would a woman, dressed in a revealing suit, be more sexually attractive than a man, dressed as a woman is dressed while wearing a revealing bikini? If she were a female escort, the opposite would be true. There are guys who wear dress shirts, slacks, and a nice tie, for business or for a funeral. Why would they be any different when their work or their relationship with a deceased is over? Another thing is the fact that a woman is dressed casually while attending a business party might be more of a draw for certain types of guys than her being dressed like she is going to an orgy. A lot of women have been put off by men to see, doubt she, dressed for an after work play party. If you're interested in the business end of things, wearing a suit and a tie might make you seem a little too proper. Also, another thing, in terms of your friend, is she wearing underwear? Or are you suggesting that she is walking around the casino with no underwear on? If the answer is no to that question, then it would be my guess that she is dressed to be seen and the guy she's attracted to are the ones not going to spend $50 plus on a hooker. That's a real turnoff. If you think she is, then I think you need to have a long conversation with her about the proper way to walk through a casino. This is probably not your first rodeo. If you really 
like her, and you should spend time with her and teach her about men. C-O-S-I-G-N-E-D. Tim and Randy. G-P-T-J-6-D-Smock and 6-J-D.